We're off to a car show in southwest France. Hello there. So we're off to um, uh, Saint Crapin le Richemont, uh, which is near where we're staying in Brantome. It's about nine minutes away, uh, nine kilometres away, or whatever. Um, like last year, we were planning to go to a car show in uh, Montpellier-Ministerolle, which is about 75 kilometres away. But uh, on my way down to the southwest on the TGV on Monday, and today is, uh, what's the day? Saturday? Uh, Saturday, um, I have had a little spell, I've been a bit unwell, I think it's probably due to to the sun uh, travelling down, or I caught something on the TGV because it was very full, so I've uh, had a few days out of action, and uh, finally back in the land of the living. So yeah, we decided to go to, to this car show rather than the one in uh, Montpont. Uh, mainly because today it's due to be in the mid 30s. Um, so we didn't really fancy wandering around an open field. So yeah, this is uh, the next option. Um, we'll see what, what it's gonna be like because I've never been there, even though it is close to where we usually stay. Uh, I don't know what's going to be there in the way of cars and vehicles. It says uh, um, ancient ancient cars and military. So it'll be interesting to see what variety we've got. So I'll see you there. So after leaving the car park, uh, we decided to go for a wander around the village because we we sort of noticed the uh, the, the Brocante itself didn't have any or many vehicles there. So we waited until uh, later on to go back and see if anything else turned up. So I'm trying to, to film secretively um, and failing, but uh, as you can see, it's not a really big event. Um, this is one of the stalls selling a few bits and pieces of the Panhard steering wheel there um, and a few miniatures and cars and things but that was all we saw um, and then we got to the cars themselves so we had a, a nice Mustang, a 2CV and the Camaro I think So in the next field to the cars, there was a few tractors as well um, and a bit of animation because they had their engines running. While we were looking at the Mustang 2CV and Camaro, uh, these VWs came in. Uh, so we had a garish Beetle with a go-kart in the same colours, uh, a VW Type 2 Combi, and another beetle, uh, a white one this time. Arriving back in the car park, a couple of things surprised us. A France Television's 2CV and a VW camper van. And then passing through Champignard de Bel Air, the garage that we normally go by usually has loads of 2CVs and there are none there. And then arriving back in Brantom, the owner of this Subaru wants us to take some pictures of his car, so I obliged. So that was last Friday, a very small car show. I wasn't expecting it to be that small. We had a lovely chat with a couple called Eve and Maria. Was it Marie? I can't remember, but uh, they're all lovely, really nice people. Uh, anyway, um, today is Friday and every Friday in Brantom there is a market and it can be quite a busy one. So what I'm going to do is uh, to 
add a bit more to this video, I'm going to give you a tour around Branton Market. So off we go. As you can see, the market is not that far away. It wasn't too busy when we started wandering around. Um, but normally it's a lot busier than this. So the local delicacy is uh, walnut, um, you get a lot of walnut oil for putting in soups and so on, but there you've got a cake made out of walnuts. And of course foie gras which is also a very local delicacy along with duck, uh, confit de canard and so on. And you wouldn't be in front of that a big choice of cheeses some say there's 365 cheeses in France so as many as days in the year I've seen this store before that uniquely sells strawberries but it seems to do well at it I decided to film with a different point of view with my camera on the end of a selfie stick uh, holding it like an umbrella. A few people gave me the BDI with my camera on the end of my selfie stick um, because it looked a bit strange I suppose but I edited those out. Apart from the strawberry man you get a good uh, choice of fruit and veg at these markets and often uh, Madame MB uh, buys a few things uh, because it's better than the supermarkets back home and I highly recommend the different sorts of honey you can find. One thing you won't see in the UK is a store selling uniquely knives because we're very much against knives in the UK but these are decorative ones. My brother-in-law actually collects them. This store sells saucisson which you find a lot of in uh, southwestern France. And you really can't do without olives for your apero. Uh, this place uh, sells a good variety of them, but they're a little bit expensive. But there were some giving me the BDI that I couldn't edit out. In this market, there's no clearly defined uh, sort of areas. Everything's mixed together. So you've got jewellery, um, you've got stalls uh, selling phone covers, um, chocolates with hazelnut, etc. And clothes too. So you really do have to look around the whole market. So that's the monument that tells us we're in Branton, the Abbey. It's right next to the market. So this is the River Drone and we're at the limit of the market. It's, it's quite big really. This is every Friday, it goes all across that bridge. It's well worth coming to. While having a wander, I thought I'd head to somewhere quite special. These doors here are very significant for me and Madame MB because we got married here in the Mary and we came through these doors married and that was two years ago this month so it's amazing two years already and uh, we're both very happy people together so the Mary has now moved uh, to the post near the post office which is away that way somewhere they built a new building for that so there's no more weddings here. I think there's some in the Abbey down there, which you've just seen. But uh, it's quite a, kind of sad, really, to think that we were one of the last people to come through these doors. Uh, I hope you enjoyed looking around the market with me. 
Uh, some very interesting stuff here. It's well worth a visit if you're ever in Brantum. Um, every Friday uh, from about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning until midday. Feel free to visit my uh, Buy Me A Coffee page. Um, some exclusive content on there of behind the scenes sort of footage where I just waffle basically. But if you can make a small donation, you'll be able to view those videos. Or you can make a donation without viewing the videos. It's up to you. But uh, thank you in advance for any support you can give me to produce these videos. I was tempted to buy an enamel panel from this stall. Uh, Madame MB had the same sort of idea, and you'll see that later. But I decided to head back. A few days later, uh, a brocante was held on the what we call the Grand Jardin. And these maps, I, I would have loved to have got one, but they were so expensive. Uh, but in the main, I was on the hunt for uh, diecasts, for model cars, or even buses if I could find them. And in the end, we wandered all the way around the the site. Um, and near where we started, I eventually found, or we eventually found, a store selling. Uh, cars, mainly the X Magazine Editions Atlas type thing. Well, as you can see, the weather's a lot different from where I left off. Uh, it was 35 degrees, sometimes going up towards uh, 40 uh, back in August. But now we're sort of, I think it's the 19th of November today. So, as you can see, the weather's a lot different. We're well into autumn. It's cold. I'm sitting out here in the back of the van, and it's threatening to rain. Uh, and also, also, there's a lot of wind. But um, the idea is, is that this little humble abode will be my little studio uh, to do these sort of talky bits. Um, the idea eventually is to perhaps have some sort of cladding and probably some car or mega bread van related things on here so I've got a nice background for when I talk to you but at the moment it's a bit uh, well rustic and simple uh, so yeah um, I had uh, as I said for you a few seconds ago for me a few months ago uh, I uh, acquired an enamel sign from that stall in Branton uh, Madame Mega Bread Van kindly bought me uh, a sign well it was uh, a sort of classic picture of a VW Beetle but it was in uh, a sort of alpine environment and uh, it sort of reminded me of uh, a holiday my parents took in Austria back in the 60s and my dad took quite a, well for the time quite a bit of cine film because it was very expensive back then and you will find that on the channel uh, I digitised it and added some sound uh, from the sound libraries and things so I'll stick the link down in the description for that. So really, this last little bit, this outro, uh, several months after I filmed the rest, uh, is about the models that I bought from the, uh, the Brocante, which was the last bit of the video, uh, the last bit of the footage in Branton, down in the Dordogne. So I bought uh, some of these models here. They're... Um, Hachette magazine models. So in France, you've probably got the same in Britain and elsewhere, but in France you've got a series of magazines that you can buy in the Maison de la Presse or news agents in English, um, where you have, uh, well, it's a model series basically. Uh, there's Hachette, uh, there's uh, Editions Atlas as well. They've done things like um, Buses of the World, Autobus du Monde in French, um, and this series is of two CVs. So there's two of them, put one upside down, that's two of them I bought, um, and this one here, so I'll go into those in more detail later. So, after coming back, I decided to take the bus, um, the local bus again, because uh, I don't take it very often, but it's very practical, because uh, I used it back in the summer to get to the... Uh, the tram to get the TGV uh, in Massey down to uh, the Dordogne. 
and um, this time round it's the same bus, it does a circuit of the nearest town and it ends up at the cinema and shopping centre. So in the shopping centre I bought this and I bought a little Nouvelle Ami. So I'll give you some more details about those as well um, and uh, we'll leave it at that. All these models are by Norev. Here we have a 2CV van, motor standard Zimmerman. A 2CV car this time used by Flyco Aeroport de Paris. And this one with a strange boot is used by Oceanic, a radio and TV manufacturer. This Matchbox Nouvelle Ami was from Intermarché and it cost me just three euros. Bargain. Also from Intermarché is this 2CV van from Wonder Kids. It cost me four euros fifty. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the models that I bought down in uh, Brantom and also the ones that I bought here in uh, Mency, our nearest town. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, hopefully one day this will be a nice environment to film in, but at the moment it's a bit hostile and cold. So I'm going to go in there for a cup of tea, and I'll see you in another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.